Hello everyone, so I'm glad to say that the naming process is now complete and now we are going to learn how to draw the molecules. I can tell you with confidence that this is a lot easier than the naming process, so awesome stuff. So here's the first molecule that we're going to draw, 2-methyl octane. Now look how easy this is. We look at this part first, that's octane which has 8 carbons, so you just draw 8 carbons in a row. You don't have to make it all zigzaggy, there we have 8. We then know that on carbon number two, so you can just choose if you want to name it from this side or from this side, but let's just go from left to right. On carbon number two, there's a methyl, so that means there should be one carbon. And that's it. Now, attach three hydrogens over here, and then you just attach hydrogens wherever you can, so that carbon always has four bonds. And then this carbon at the top also needs to be surrounded and so if you have a look, each carbon, so for example, this one will have one, two, this carbon over here has one, two, three, four bonds. And so there it is, we've got two methyl octane. Here's the next one, so pent is five, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five carbons. On number three, there will be a methyl, so let's just do that. That's a methyl. And then on carbon two, we have an OL, which is an alcohol, so we can just go O and H, and that's it. You then attach hydrogens everywhere else. This what we're doing here is called the structural formula. And so there we have the drawing of 3-methyl pentan 2-ol. Here's the next one. So we look straight at the end where we've got pent, that's five carbons. Then on number two, we've got a chloro. On number three, we've got a methyl. You see how easy this is? And then that's it. Now you just fill in hydrogens everywhere else. Now remember, you don't go put hydrogens attached to this Cl. It's only carbon that has that ability to form four bonds. And so that's the structure for that one. Here we have two chloro, three fluoro, heptane. And so hept is seven, so you just draw seven carbons. And then on carbon number two, we have a Cl. And on carbon number three, we have a fluorine, so that's an F. And that's it, the rest is just hydrogen. And so there we have that one over there. So this one's quite interesting. So what we've got to do is we look at the hept part. So it's heptane. So that's four, five, six, seven. On three, there's a chlorine. On two, there is a methyl. And then on four, there's also a methyl. And so then the rest of it is just hydrogens. And so you want to make sure that each carbon is surrounded by four attachments. See, so here's your methyl, and where's the other methyl on carbon 2? Ooh, I haven't finished that one, Kevin. There we go, there we go, and there we go. So there's your other attachment there. And so that's that molecule. So here we have pentanoic acid. So that's a carboxylic acid with five carbons. So we just go one, two, three, four, five. Then we know that a carboxylic acid has a double bond oxygen with an OH. The rest is just hydrogen. So notice over here, I don't put a hydrogen. The reason for that is if you look at the carbon over here, it's already got one, two, three, four bonds. So here we have an alcohol, because it's got the OL, but we can start with the pentan part, so that's gonna be five carbons. Then on carbon two, we have an OH, and on carbon three, we will have a methyl. And then the rest is obviously just gonna be hydrogens. You're gonna get so tired of drawing these hydrogens, trust me. Eventually you start doing them so much your pen actually starts making a almost like a, a beat while drawing it. I don't know, I remember that when I was in grade 12. When you draw those hydrogens your pen starts making some interesting noises as you go along. It forms like a rhythm. Maybe it's just me. Here we have an ester because we've got methyl ethanoate. Now remember the alcohol part is always first. So that's going to have one carbon. Then you do the, then you put an oxygen. And then you do the ethanoate, which is the carboxylic acid part, which has two carbons. Then this part just has H's. This part has the double bond oxygen. Remember, that was the carboxylic acid. And then this part just has H's over there. So you can see here's the alcohol part, which is the methyl, which is one carbon. And then here's the carboxylic acid part, which is the ethanoate. If you're struggling a bit with that, that's fine, because this one is a bit weird, so let's practice one or two more. So here's ethyl propanoate, so it's also an ester. The alcohol part is always first, so that's two carbons. Then just remember an oxygen. Then the propanoate, well that's three carbons, so that's one, two, three. Then just remember the first one must have that. Then the rest is easy, then it's just hydrogens everywhere. 
Notice I don't attach anything here because that's oxygen and not carbon. And so it's only carbon that needs the four bonds. Then here's propyl ethanoate. So the alcohol part is three carbons. Then just remember the oxygen. Then the carboxylic acid is two carbons. And then just always remember that over there. And then the rest will just be hydrogen. Always making sure that each carbon has four bonds. And so there we go, guys. That's it for now. I, I hope, I'm sure you can see that the drawing process is a lot easier than the naming process. However, you still need to practice this as it does get a bit weird sometimes. But it's not going to get any more difficult than what I've been showing you over here.